you look at her, you wouldn't think that this muscular, uh, intimidating looking girl is so girly. Very competitive, determined, perfectionist. She's somebody that wants to be given a huge challenge so that she can conquer it and then walk up to you and be like, yeah, I did it, I did it, coach. And she's just always really intense and really excited. My friend on the playground at recess could do back handsprings in a row and that's all I wanted to do. So my parents enrolled me in gymnastics and I just kept growing from there, I kept going. <laughs> it was the summer where she turned six and I remember she didn't even have a leotard. She got to go in a swimsuit that looked like a leotard. <laughs> In club, I had the same coach for like my, my whole club career pretty much, so about 10 years I had the same coach and I was nervous coming to college to, to switch because you're so used to that one coach, I was like, this isn't going to work. She was able to spend four years a long way from home and she still maintained her character. She didn't change a lot. I just think that having family members like Erica's parents that are so supportive of her, of her in everything that she does, she's going to be a really strong person when she leaves. Every meet this past year, her senior year, she was able to have someone there to support her. For the gymnastics program, I got offered a scholarship and I signed early in October of my senior year in high school. Well, with Erica, I was. I was surprised. She's really strong, but she came in and she didn't have um, a lot of basics and a lot of the technique, but my biggest surprise was how hard she worked to get herself to be as clean as the girl that had really good basics. If you ask me what the secret of her success is, it's hard work, hard work, and more hard work. She's always been a hard worker. She's going to work harder than you, and you're going to, she'll push you to work as hard as she does. It doesn't matter if she wins or not, and that's what we, my husband and I, all through her career in gymnastics, it's been up and down, and we've been very proud of her because he says it doesn't matter so long as you gave it your best shot. There were definitely points in, in uh, my career where I wanted to quit. I know in club gymnastics in high school, I would tell my parents, you know, I want to quit. And they said, well, you have to finish up the season because it would be in the middle of the season. I was like, okay. So then at the end of the season, I never wanted to quit because it was over and we were like training new skills. God was number one in our family, in our life. And as a young girl, we taught her, you know, different Bible verses and things to help her out. And then when she came far away where I couldn't, you know, go and help her out, we had the phone. I talk to her all the time, every day. <laughs> she knows probably the most about me than anybody else. Um, talk to her about lifting, talk to her about gymnastics, talk to her about anything. She just encourages me and prays for me. I would try and encourage her um, on her lion paw that she has. She has her favorite verse, which is 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of might and of sound mind. And so that's kind of one of our key verses for her. Her and I share a lot of the same like morals and the same faith values. So that was really cool to be able to talk to her about stuff like that outside the gym. And she, I think she really appreciated that. One thing that she had expressed that she thought would be awesome um, to end, an awesome way to end her career would be able to before meets to like pray as a team. I've always wanted to circle up with my team and pray before meets and stuff and we finally got to do it my senior year and it was, it was awesome. Jacob helped get her going and he came home and said, Mom, Erica could go and do that stuff. She wouldn't even have to lift weight. It was my first show obviously and I didn't know exactly how it worked. I came in not, we were, I remember we were backstage and I was like, talking to these other girls that had done it before and I was just a freshman I was like what is that pose and they're like you don't know that I was like no <laughs> and I was like okay well I guess I'm doing that I had planned to come down and I didn't tell her it was just kind of like a last minute thing I was able to get off work and um, she didn't have any idea I was coming down at all and then that the day of the show I got and parked outside of um, her dorm and I called her and I said Erica can you let me in? You know, because she says, what do you mean? I said, I'm out here on the road waiting for you. Can you open the door and let me in? She, and then she just, she just could not believe it. That just made her day. She was just ecstatic. Yeah, bodybuilding is all about how you look in the mirror. Gymnastics is not a bodybuilder like routine, obviously, because it's all body weight. Like a bodybuilder, you want to pack on muscle and then you want to diet and cut. We have four hour practices five days a week so that for gymnastics so that's my work I mean that's the basis of my my training and then these last two and a half weeks I mean there's only so much muscle you can put on in two and a half weeks so really it's just time to cut the calories down so you can get 
more defined. You can see her abs through her leotard. <laughs> we'll be at meets and I'll look up on the balcony and I'll see guys lifting up their shirts and looking at their abs and then looking at hers and being like, man. So that's pretty impressive. I love my teammates and my coaches and I know they actually, my teammate sent me a text the other day that asked me what color my posing suit was so they could get outfits to match it. I was like, they're pretty funny, they make signs. We're going to be there for her and I just constantly am asking her, oh, what are you doing, are you starving yourself? And she said, no, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do it the way I want to and I encourage her in that. I said, you look great, if you don't want to, you know, cut out all food for the next month, then don't do it because you're ripped out of your mind. Just about having fun and stuff like at meets you don't have to be serious all the time you can joke around a little bit I mean there's a time to joke around and stuff but um, just I try to I try to work hard not only I I try not to just tell people what to do but I try to be a role model in the gym so they can't be like well she says this but she does this you know I try to use my actions and do what's right and it gives me extreme pleasure for the fourth consecutive time.